Hello, and welcome to another episode of Play With Me Toys for Kids. In a previous episode, I showed you guys this Adrian Atten's doll from MC Squared. Today, we're going to be doing the experiment that comes along with this doll, and that experiment is to make our own volcano. So all we need for this experiment is what comes in the set, or you can also use a cup or something at home, um, and baking soda, vinegar, and a little bit of food dye if you want. So I go ahead and I put the volcano onto a plate so it's not messy later. Uh, when I set this doll down, I do have to say that one thing I noticed is her hair is super, super long. I have personally never had a doll with hair this long, so it's a lot of fun because you can braid it and play with it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to the experiment. So first off, we're going to put some baking soda into the volcano. It doesn't matter how much, and you can actually experiment with um, what makes a better volcano. So you can try more baking soda or less baking soda or more vinegar or less vinegar. So that's kind of up to you to experiment and try it out. Next up, we have some food dye. Today I'm going to be using this yellow dye. It's very, very concentrated, so I'm just going to put a little bit in it. You can make your volcano whatever color you want. Um, in the last video, I think I used some red food coloring. And then I also have this vinegar in an eyedropper, and the eyedropper came with the set, although you didn't you don't necessarily need it. You can use a spoon or just pour it right out of the can. So I'm gonna go ahead and make our doll comfy here while she watches the experiment. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the vinegar into the, to the top of our volcano. So as you can see, there's not quite enough baking soda. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some more. And then of course, I'm gonna add some more vinegar as well. I think this looks really, really good with the yellow dye. Um, I'm super excited about how this worked, and I really like the volcano that came along with it. So the fun thing about this experiment is you can kind of just keep going with it, adding more baking soda and more vinegar. I personally think this experiment doesn't get old. Um, it's a lot of fun, and it's pretty cool that you can do this with things that you can find just in your kitchen. So if you guys don't happen to have vinegar, I would recommend using lemon juice or soda water, they work just as well. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below. Remember to write in the comments and subscribe to our channel. Thank you!